I see that uh, this is the very special year for India. In the context that we are celebrating 75 years of independence, what we call Azadi Kamrut Mahotsav. But the great way of celebration is what we can contribute to this progression. But the great challenge remains now is that we have to reach out for education and particularly higher education so that our GR improves and, and that calls for opening universities almost in every district of India. It is in this context our Vishwanath Karadji is establishing the fifth university which by, by itself is a record by itself in one's lifetime creating five universities each in some distinctive form is a great accomplishment and uh, there are many new experiments say, in each university and this university will set up another mark and the landmark in this progression and particularly a new university at Solapur is a, is a great step, it's a remarkable, incredible step, I think. Now, there are many universities in India, there are a thousand universities. But this university is going to be different because its basis, its foundation is the Vedic education system, the Gurukul system. This is being reinterpreted in this new university, Vishwaprayag University. And I would I'd like to invite new students, students to this university. The hallmark of today's education system is that, that it calls for entirely new kind of education in the context of the new education policy. The new education policy is a liberal education, very liberal education. One, secondly, it is based on the, the Vedic values, Vedic education system, and uh, which, has, which was admired all over the world. I'm very pleased to see that, that Solapur University has that foundation. And I, I, admire, I admire that. There is going to be one more challenge. India has close to seven lakh villages, and how then the university education can be set up across these villages, across these villages, that's a great challenge. Solapur University or Vishwaprayag University is that experiment. We will try the innovations, the nuances which are required in the kind of new universities and Solapur will establish, Solapur will establish a pioneering model in that context. Here the education is learning by doing. Learning by actual development. We are not participating. Education and development has uh, not been together. This university will uh, make an attempt that how education develops India as a whole, including its villages. So I see looking forward to such a university which where the, we have start education for development. I, I, we, see that how education brings about development of rural India. Education really and we establish a model for that. So I wish this um, university the very best Dr. Swati Karad um, is uh, going to lead this university and she has many ideas and those experiments will be tried we establish a new model for new universities in India. One characteristic of our countries and uh, the whole world, world is looking for them. Not only we have a large population, we have a large youth population in the country, very large youth population in the country. I want to tell the youth of this country that the future now belongs to India. We have been saying that, our Prime Minister has been saying that, that the future belongs to India. Now we have seen so far that we have been going for higher education to advanced countries. Today India has emerged as the third largest economy of the world. Third largest in PPP terms, purchasing power parity terms. And, uh, and that's why we feel that kind of thing. 
that uh, for use there is going to be need. we are looking at it from a fresh angle now and uh, how rural india can participate not uh, rural india is not important itself but how that de de development of rural india can participate and i want them to participate we have started unnat bharat abhiyan it is advanced india we are build advanced india by making this our villages as unnat villages and that is going to be the experiment we we should try now